Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dragon Ball Z League, Season 2021, Week 11, Episode 2. I'm your host, Dorgard, with my lovely co-host, Malachi. Hello. So, yeah, it's been an exciting week so far. We've had one divisional down. I think the next one is Episode 7, so we're at, we'll be in Episode 4 because it's Match 7. But this one, we have a couple more very, you know, fun matches. Starting us off, we have Resurrected Warriors, who are 10-0 and against Kaiju, who's 5-5. Five and five. Now, I know what you're thinking. Resurrected Warriors, probably going to win. But, since they're secured the buy and playoffs 100%, the playoffs are guaranteed. Uh, buy is technically up for grabs, but probably not. They brought in Yajirobe to do some to see how he's doing. So they're actually going to be, you know, doing something a little different. And Kaiju's been holding their own for the good check of the season. So it could be a very, uh, very fun fight. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Kaiju, they, and, and I believe we're on King's Castle this week. Is that right? Or are we on Kaiju's home map? That is a, nope. we are in King's Castle. So, Let me get yeah, so only a, there we go. only a couple of these guys can transform, which might be good, might be bad. But, I mean, we've been seeing some good stuff from from Kaiju. Like, Roshi is good. Um, no, Roshi's been Let's get jumping and, in. Seeing it's yeah. got Raditz and N Vegeta to start. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be, like you said, it's going to be interesting. Because uh, N Vegeta, very scary. But Raditz has had a very good season. So, we'll see. Can he snub the Prince of All Saiyans? Maybe, yeah, he should, you know. Vegeta called him weak. So he, he needs to get some revenge on Vegeta. But Raditz running attack plus one, serious, quick fast attack, latent energy, rising fighting spirit, power of rage. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Present oh, actually what? ate most of those, but one curled around. Unlucky. Yeah. That, that is unfortunate. But I mean, it didn't do that much. Yeah, it was only one um, projectile. But What's yeah, on Vegeta? Then, he's on Super 1? Yeah, he is running his Super 1 um, launches serious quick fast attack, rising fight spirit, indignation and he has started uh, the, the B2 spam to get a decent lead. Yeah, um, usually it's more than a lead. It's kind of securing the victory on his first run. So we gotta see can Raditz at least, I mean he just needs to do like two bars and like tag, honestly. We saw him yeah. do that last week, and he got 60 because he just kept coming in, dealing a bar or two, and tagging. But I don't think yeah, he's don't even think done Vegeta's... 500 damage yet. Uh, now he has. Yeah. Like, 5, it's just Vegeta doesn't give him a chance. And he's looking to tag. It's just, is he going to get the chance? D don't know. Just tag. Don't. I mean, he's hitting in some damage now, but yeah, this is going to do it for him. And then Vegeta yep. showing why he's number one in the league. Okay, well, we see our first Nappa Kappa in, a, in what's been a few weeks. Oh, no. He's still just... He does, it's not Kappa time. He's saving him for playoffs, obviously. Apparently. But, I mean, he still managed to hit with a Volcano Explosion. And, I mean, that ain't a joke either. Well, might be a joke this well, time. The, uh, yes. Yes, it was. Oh, and he just well, gets what? hit. And that's an uh, early and tag by In Vegeta, which is going to be very rough for our Kaiju boys. And uh, pulls in 76 for Resurrected, 23 for Kaiju. We do at least have some people hoping for Kaiju to be holding it down. Oh, and very close to key breaking there on early Goku. And here comes yeah, the Kaioken yeah. spam. Yeah, the Kaioken giving him, I believe it's a plus one to everything, but he can no longer charge. Um, who knows, maybe he'll waste that key. Um, it's never Wait, been it using bit. the key. He's on attack plus two, so he's usually about just getting that all the boosts that allow him to just go in there and punch hard. Because uh, yeah. remember, you gain key by punching, so he actually holds Kaioken longer. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, uh, Nappa hitting with another volcano explosion. Like He's been really loving that B2. And I mean, it's just not the... Like, we, we, really, we really need to see some of those blazing storms. We need to see him tag right now, honestly. It looks like he's trying to oh. find one. Uh, yes, this is indeed a canon match. This is indeed how early Goku, when he came back to Earth to fight Nappa. I believe Nappa was already nude, and he was indeed in his uh, shirt costume, this costume too, for early Goku. So, mm -hmm. Though I don't think they fought 
I think they fought in the crater of King's Castle. <laughs> Not well, quite they the fought actual. In, they, they fought in a crater. And oh, there we the, go. Uh, there we go. Oh, 13,000. Oh, wow. He has defense minus one, to be fair. This might hit because of the building. No. Yeah. And, I mean, uh, Napa switched to Roshi, and it looked like he was going to tag for a minute. But then he just didn't. Um, oh. And he really needs to. He started doing some of the damage. So it's not like that non-tag was for nothing. But this grab will guarantee take him out yeah. with all that attack boost. Uh, and in comes Roshi, uh, who is running, um, where is it, uh, there, uh, I, I keep, when I see Roshi, I keep wanting to, to look at muscle, uh, Roshi, yeah. super plus one, savior, fighting spirit, Kabito secret arm, launcher support, Ginyu AI, oh, Roshi tag, uh, uh, Jackie Chun, uh, dodging that Kaioken attack, yeah, it really needs to hit, uh, the savior's gone now. I was going to say, any B2, honestly, he just needs to start. He needs to finish off early Goku because they still have in Vegeta, and he's at two bars at least. But this Kaioken yeah. does hit now. And they're just they're just struggling. Um, just nothing they do will stick. I mean, to be fair, Resurrected Warriors are 10-0 and 0 for a reason. Uh, so it was always going to be a hard challenge. Uh, this is true. Oh, nice vanish attack. Another false courage. Ult, something? Nope. Nope. Oh, no, he's just going to charge. Oh, and he's going to tag. Attack. Well, now we have Aider. Yeah. Um, Aider running, I believe. Uh, yep, defense plus three, attack minus one. Uh, eternal life, light body, cell AI. So, you know, so the, his other build that just, just kind of defense and charge. This is just defense and healing. He's just meant to be in there for forever and do whatever he wants to do. Oh, and he takes out Roshi without losing anything there. Well, I think we're already down to the last member of Kaiju, unfortunately, in Scouter. That we are. I mean, we, we have seen Scouter do some impressive things. But and I, mean, I believe he has eternal life, right? So he actually has a build that could potentially do it. But it's going to be hard, though. These two Gallic guns are a good start. Yeah, a Scouter running Key Plus One, Serious Indignation, Eternal Life, Chaozu AI. So he's got a build that, that can potentially do it. But he's just got to, you know, he, he's got to start uh, throwing out lots of B2s if he's going to have a chance. We're getting stuck on that tree, letting Aider get a little heavier of a combo than he normally would because he didn't get knocked away. And Aider just showing why he's such a frustrating opponent, just really sticks in your face. Seems like you can't do anything to get him off you. Yeah, no, he's, he's doing what he needs to. Oh, and he got to three, so it's a how. He could do a You Hurt Goku, which would be very bad. Even just another Aider's anger would be bad. Yeah, like at this point, anything Aider does is just uh, gravy on top. Man, we're not even going to get to see Yajirobe this week unless Scouter really pops off here. And we're really needing to see him do that. Because uh, based on the lineup, he's got early Goku next. Yeah, and I mean, I don't think Aider's going to give him a chance. He's just going to be... Oh, no, he going ape. He... Well, I this mean, will this do could something. be bad. This will do something. Um, It'll this be, could good be bad against Aider. Aider. Oh, nice combo. Do yeah. a good chunk of damage. Um, Unfortunately, yeah. that B2 is a very weak one for uh, Scouter. It's probably his worst one in this form. Yeah, but at this point, all it needs to do is hit. And that, that can be enough. Oh, we punched him oh, out of Vader's wow. Anger. That's very clutch. He needs to be doing stuff like that to really get this fight back in the Kaiju's favor. I say that as... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's possible. It's going to be hard, it, though. It is we don't possible. know if Yajirobe's going to do well. So one good B2 against early Goku after taking out Aider, and he might have like an easy yeah, fight against Yajirobe. I, I think Aider might just keep, take him out. Yeah. Well, unfortunately wow. for Kaiju, that was just very unfortunate. I don't think they took out a single character either. Everybody tagged. So Resurrected Warrior's yeah. going to 11-0. 
Um, yeah, I don't think there's literally any way now for a team. They, if they had lost this, there was a small chance that if Rugrat somehow went 5-0 and and Reservoir is 0-5, they could have overlapped him and at least, like, been up there. But, yeah, that's not happening anymore. So, with yep. that, that has been match three. Shall we move on to the fourth match? Let's go for it. So, match number four. This one's going to be a very spicy one, I think. Uh, Cold Kingdom versus Royals. Both teams looking really good right now, honestly. So, uh, I'm pretty hyped. I think it should be a pretty good match. And both teams are going to have a lot of fun. And we'll get to see Metacooler going up against his old team. Yeah. I mean, it should be good. Uh, Metacooler has been a very... Uh, you know, he, he's been a very uh, consistent character. And, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. See how we have uh, Metacooler up against Zarbon to start. It's going to be pretty interesting because both of these characters can get a good lead going for their team. Because uh, they both have builds that are going to let them just fight each other pretty hard. Yeah. And, you know, we, we've seen Zarbon just melt through some characters before. Um, and the Blitz Barrage starts. Oh, yeah, this could uh, be what? 4K because he has defense plus 2? 4.6. 46. Um, yeah, Zarbon, attack plus 2, Dende is power rage, master throw, Sirius, Majin Buu AI. You fool, you uh, hurt him. Now his grabs do even more because of Sirius. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Wow. Nice gra and, nice chain grab there, Zarbon. See, you're saying builds uh, before Zarbon went insane with his suplexes that he's continuing to do. Yep, he and he's just decimating medical or let me read off his build before he dies um uh, medical or defense plus two master blast dende's power of rage frieza ai so kind of what we're used to seeing from him um it says Zarbon's just melting through him with those grabs um it's not even that meta is just doing bad it's just he's trying to do melee and uh zarbon's like yes please let's do melee Seems like the week for Zarbon to hit an ult since he's hitting so many grabs. Uh, but fortunately, Metacooler managed to stall him out. But a nice, elegant blaster, and yeah, one more grab, and uh, yeah, that's it. But this combo might do it too. And that's yeah, it but... for Metacooler. One of his uh, rougher starts this season, honestly. He's usually yeah. been a pretty solid guy, at least doing 30. Yeah, and then uh, Majin Vegeta coming in, running Super Plus 2, Savior. Uh, quick fast attack, indignation, light body, Kabito, secret art, and chounsu AI. Yeah, there's oh, the wow. savior. It lets him do two bars for 10k. Quite difficult to deal with. Yeah, same yep. build and he's had all season, and he's been quite a monster with it, honestly. He has been. Um, he's just kind of decimating every. Oh, and oh, nice one tag. tag. Oh, and that's going to oh, hit because he was doing was... Majin's Awakening, which cancels it. Yeah, that was Nice job by Cold King. Very That's the play. Nice. That's how you do a tag. Yep. Uh, Mecha Freeze, a defense plus three, attack minus one. Dende is a quick fast attack, indignation, fighting spirit, Chaotzu AI. So here's um, the ex Royals member going up against Royals. Yep. I think this has been the only trade of the new season, correct? Uh, oh, wow. Majin's Awakening and then tag. But at least you'll have two bars. And Kabeza uh, yep. Kabitos, he actually doesn't lose those blast stocks very much. Yeah, um, and yes, Metacooler and Mecha Frieza was the only actual trade from last season. Um, and I think it's worked out well for them. Um, yeah, both teams kind of found a nice little niche for them. Funny enough, both still tanks, uh, but they just found that the tank that they needed them to be. Yeah. And, you know, ho hopefully this coming off season we'll see more trade, actual trades, and uh, see things work out. Is Slug on his Eternal Life build this week? The uh, Slug? Slug? Yeah, let's see. Um, Slug is on his Eternal Life build. So keep plus one, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, Eternal Life, uh, TNAI. So this is the build that got him into All-Stars. Uh, it's been a very strong one. He's hit a lot of B2s, and when he gets to go big, uh, which is usually in his last bar, he hits like 12,000 damage explosive waves because they're massive when he's in big. Though 
Not very low yet, so using it for high tension, probably not the worst to get a little melee boost going. Yeah. And, oh, is, what's going to hit the not too far away. The one benefit to the death beams. They at least go the whole map. Yep. And Slug taking it to, trying to take it to Mecha Frieza. Um... It's been pretty even between these two, actually. The defense and the eternal life really kind of canceling each other out, just having them brawl. Yeah, um, but I mean, Mecha Frieza definitely getting the better of, of this here. Um, Ooh, that's no, going to that, hit. Yep, that, that's not what you wanted, Slug. Maybe go so, big and just beat him. The pole has come in and... Royals up by 64%, uh, Cold Kingdom 35. So people are really expecting Royals to win this, but after seeing Majin Vegeta get kind of styled on by Mecha, it's it's looking kind of hard. Uh, obviously, Slug could go giant right now and tag, and they still have Majin GG, but it's looking rough. This won't yeah. take him out, but it's going to be very close. Like it, uh, there I we was going to say, well, maybe if Slug tagged, it might not be too bad. All right, well... uh. I don't even think an ult from this man would be very good at this point because, uh, yeah, I would kill one guy, but there's so much left to do. But there we go. Finally hit. And he's going to take out Mecha, which is what they need to do. But that's the first member down for them where they have two down on their own side. Yeah. Oh, I and mean, here's 100%. It, nice dodge. Oh, it, that, that needed a hit. Um. Oh, Nova Strike. I think this is going to win. It is. Yep. Nova Strike just went through that uh, JoJo's. Um, and I mean, Cold Long awaited. Is, I mean, Cold's just looking good. Um, maybe Frieza can just do an ult to end Vegeta here just to make sure he goes down. I don't even think literally anything. Even a ping pong combo because he'll get the free V2. Ah, well, I guess he's going to ult. Mal, how could you? He's no, dead. No, like overkill. He's already dead. All right, well, down to the last member for Royals. We have Super Baby One. Oh, and that's yeah. his ult. Well, that's his ult. Uh, maybe an ult will help. I mean, hey, it's it what hit. he's going to have to be doing a lot of. Uh, what's his build this week? He can't have Eternal Life anymore since, obviously, Slug's been running that. Yeah, he has been running Defense plus 3, Attack minus 1, Fighting Spirit, Savior, Sirius, Dende's Piccolo AI. Um, not a bad build. Like, it's just he... You know, he lasts for forever and has some a little bit extra charge and melee damage. I'd have to and check, but this might be his build from last season when he was on GT, or at least very close. Uh, I think it, it was or very close. Maybe the rate Jupiter is like fighting spirit serious were different. Well, they, they had dragon spirit. I do know that. I'm pretty sure yeah. that he was on a dragon spirit build. So uh, yeah, and here we go. Cooler coming out. That's an ult. That's an ult. Um, oh. Wow, that that was quite a Seems damage like reduction. It like yeah, it like missed a hit somehow. Like the part of it hit the fence because I know it does more than 10k. Though I it, think he might have super minus one this week. Let's see. Uh, what does uh, Mister what what does Lord Cooler have? Uh, Cooler has a uh, key plus two, super minus one, light body, indignation, quick. That's an early tag. One. Always. Yep, he is like, I'll let the help deal with this. Kind of want to see Zarbon's ult, but highly unlikely, especially with Baby doing this combo. Yeah, oh, that would be awesome. But I don't think Baby is going to give him the chance. No, but a wild pressure? Ooh, blocked. Oh, this grab? Oh. Well, the one well, good uh, thing Cooler we get off this is he might heal a lot of life, but he's going to come back in with the Savior active. Yeah, and that... That could be all he needs. I just want to do another I mean, ult, but I don't it, want to charge. It's, an, it, it's also an even fight now. Um, like It's about uh, a one baby. bar difference, but yeah, 1v2, and now it's uh, in Royal's favor. Yeah, I mean, this is... Uh, baby Vegeta has brought this, not only taking it from like being under a significant deficit, but also to it having a strong lead. Yeah, Cooler is just not he didn't ult he's not using his key which is very bad since he is on a spam build so they are very much wanting him to be using his key oh, you, you mean hit. like that Ooh, this is oh, gonna 
put him Ooh. dangerously low. It's, I mean, he's got he plus two, so oh, no, he's not going to charge. Yeah, I was going to say, he needs to transform. If he can, he nope, can. he cannot transform. And nope. Baby actually turns it around, giving Royals wow. the victory. I think this was a surprise, especially with how well Cold Kingdom started, but 100% Frieza just didn't quite do very much, and Cooler just didn't feel like doing anything either, unfortunately. But nice job, Royals, on uh, getting this comeback win. Yeah, congratulations uh, to Royals. Uh, very hard fought, especially by Baby Vegeta. I mean, he he just decided to rampage, and he brought it back. Yeah, somebody is saying I'll, it'll be interesting to see the stats if he got elite or if he got near elite, like how will healing and all that apply if he actually yeah. got there. He definitely did 80k at least. So yeah, I was gonna say he did at least 80 and maybe 90. I don't think he got quite to 100k though. Well, if you guys would like to see that, this breeds to a great endpoint. As always, this is Dragon Ball Z League Season 2021 Week 11 Episode 2. In the description down below, you'll find links to the Discord where, guess what? On there, you can see the stats, talk with the teams, find out what's going on, join the teams, do all the fun stuff, and to the website, which will have the builds, the Pataras, this basically every informational thing you want that's uh, just going to make it easier if you're trying to figure out what's going on in this league. So, with that, I've been Doorguard. I've been Malachi. See you guys tomorrow. Later.